guys, it's Piper from Mr. Mayor's Sixth Period Honor Science class. And for my chemical reaction project, I'm doing the separation of hydrogen peroxide. So, what will happen if you mix hydrogen peroxide and yeast? Well, if you do that, then the hydrogen peroxide will separate into oxygen and water because the yeast is a catalyst. And naturally, the hydrogen peroxide will separate on its own, but it will do that very slowly. So the catalyst will speed that up quite a bit. So to do this project, you will need soap, um, 12% hydrogen peroxide, yeast, warm water, food coloring, a spoon, a beaker, and a cup. Let's get right into the video. You're going to put the hydrogen peroxide in. Then you're going to put some of the liquid dish soap in. And then you're going to put some food coloring in. Then you're going to mix that together. I'm using a chopstick. So you set that mixture aside and you're going to work with the warm water. So you're going to go and cut open your dry yeast. And then you're going to measure out one tablespoon. Right now, this is at 43 degrees Celsius and 110 degrees. So after you stir that up, you're gonna go, oh, and um, this mixture is at 28 degrees Celsius and 83 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're gonna go and pour your yeast and water into your beaker and that happened. <laughs> Exothermic reaction. Oh, well, yeah, and it, it kind of went everywhere. Chemical reaction project is exothermic because it released heat when the experiment happened. Observations support my hypothesis because the oxygen allowed the soap to create bubbles, which made it foam up and go everywhere. And the water is still at the bottom. The only error was the first time that I did this, I didn't add enough water and too much yeast. So it became very clumpy and would not work. But I changed In that. And my hypothesis was correct that the hydrogen peroxide separated into water and oxygen to form a bubble mountain.